What is up guys, Winter Kills here, welcome back to another post-commentary duel video. We are back with more DDDs playing off against some Metal Foe, uh, just your standard Magic Specter Metal Foe build. Uh, his build has uh, changed quite a bit, I think, since you guys have seen it last, playing the Clifford engine. I don't know if that was in any of the previous videos that he played this, I'm pretty sure it wasn't, but he's got the Monolith Scout combo, of course, uh, to make the Infinity play happen a lot easier. Um... I do want to apologize, though, uh, for my play in this game and in the third game, um, just maybe for the entire match. Um, although, it, it, I guess it could be worse. Um, I, keep in mind, like, and not to make excuses or anything, this is like my first time playing this deck uh, when this recorded, which was yesterday or maybe two days ago, depending on when this goes up. Um, so I was kind of rusty. And I'm trying to get much better with the the deck. It is is just learning uh, the mechanics better, different plays, different play routes. I would say, um, just because DDD structure deck is coming very very soon. And uh, I think someone, I think it was I play Jacks only. Um, if that's his name, I probably fucked it up somewhere. But I'm pretty sure that's his name. Usually in the live streams a lot. Um, I will do like a uh, sort of a vlog esque video to go get those structure decks and do a do a, a extravaganza when it comes out. So look forward to that. Um, I'm gonna be excited, but I'm trying to just grind with the deck and I'm gonna try to do uh, more playing with it. I'm gonna try to cut Mermail out for a little while just so I can learn the deck better because um, my plays were not uh, not good. Um, so contract was able to go off. But the Swirl Slime will not. And I'm going one for one here. Discarding a Jet Synchron. I cannot wait to stop playing uh, all the little one-of tuners. Because Lamia will replace the fuck out of all of those. And I go for uh, Necro Slime. Discard Necro Slime to summon Jet Synchron. I'm under max C2. Um, so I'm destined to pretty much just lose this game outright. Um... Maxi and an infinity to start off the turn like it's not good uh, if I stop doing any plays right now I'm pretty much dead in the water. I could fusion summon. Uh, I got a Thomas in hand I could do some cool plays with that maybe summon that to the field uh, My extra deck does need work though. I think that's one thing going into the new format I'm just basically disregarding my play in this first this first game. Um, I'll let you guys just watch for what happens I'm playing into a maxi like an idiot, but it is what it is um, Basically uh, I just want to be ready for the, uh, the, the DDD structure deck. I want to be ready for it. I want to be able to make the best plays. Um, and I know there's uh, a lot of work in the extra deck that I, I can do. And especially with the crystal wing that we pulled in the $10 crystal wing challenge. If you haven't seen that, go watch it right after this video if you haven't seen it my my question is you what the fuck are you doing have you been sleeping the past couple of days no i'm just kidding i'll leave a, a annotation at the end of the video you can check out it'll probably be somewhere down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen or wherever you'll be able to click on it take you right there you can check it out but I've, that was like the one uh icing on the cake that i needed for the extra deck was a crystal wing because uh crystal wing will be such an easy card to make uh, using Gale Alexander, maybe uh, Alamia, or any other level 7 synchro. doesn't have to be Gale Alexander. Um, but it's going to be very viable. Um, my extra deck has got to be strong. I think extra deck um, is going to be a huge, huge uh, aspect of the DDDs because it can pretty much go into Ixie synchros and fusions, as we all know. So being able to build a balanced, uh, well-rounded extra deck is going to be very difficult to do. Um, so I got to make sure I get it right. Uh, I don't know, like maybe right there, a Leo would have been cool. Uh, I don't know what rank eights I'm going to be playing. If I'm going to even be playing a lot of rank eights, I might not play that many XCs. I might focus more synchro and fusion heavy, uh, which I think is going to be the route to go right off the bat for me personally. I don't know how viable uh, a heavy rank eight or rank seven build might be. I might play one rank eight and maybe one rank seven, and that might be it. Maybe a big eye in a number 38 or a, a big eye in a Caliuga. I don't know yet. I've got a lot of things to think about um, to, to go in to going into this uh, new format with DDDs with their new support. I cannot wait for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anyways, the uh, the Caliuga is outed immediately. The the board wipe, uh, like the heavy storm, 
uh, was cute, I would say. It didn't really do too much to stop him since I gave him so many cards off the maxi. Like I said, uh, as soon as the maxi was dropped, I knew my... I knew I was going to lose this game, so I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll make some mediocre plays afterwards, and um, I'm losing because of it. I, I let him play out a little bit, so you guys at least have something to see uh, a little bit further in to it. <laughs> at this point, I'm like, oh, I'll scoop as soon as I see the Kieran at the board, and he's showing me his hand. He's got a Vanities. He literally just needed to summon one Kieran and then a set of Vanities, uh, maybe summon some other monster, and I, I would just auto-lose at that point even. And I, I've 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 kind of gotten my uh, my act together when it comes to like what I want to what do I want to do with DDD right now at the moment. And for me personally, my build, what I found works best for me because there's a lot of different ways you can play DDD. It's like uh, it's uh, a deck I think that we haven't seen in a long time. Where uh, maybe not that long, but it's one of those decks where there's so many options that it really does punish you for making a misplay. Um, you could miss out on a lot of stuff if you fuck up in certain points. Um, and I always rag on the, the people who do this to me in the, in the, in the live streams or even sometimes in the comments. Um, and, uh, I kind of thank him for it. The MST baiting out the, uh, the mass chain second for the dark law. Nice play there for 38. I let him search. So, uh, the, uh, the dark law will trigger. Um, but anyways, uh, I know a lot of people like, are saying like, oh, with that hand, you could end it up with 38 hex blood crystal wing. And that kind of mind boggles me. Like, wait a minute, I, I my my field ended like this. How 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 is this a possibility? So I need to get better at um, learning these more deeper combos. And that's the one thing about DDD. Like I said earlier, there's so many different ways to play it. And for me, going first uh, to kind of tie it back to what I was saying, going first is going to be the build for me. Uh, he does search, and I hit the uh, a uh, what is it a um, volt flame out of his hand. Like it'll, that'll get banished. Uh, gonna be able to stop any other spells from being activated. I didn't want to number 38 the MST because he was gonna hit the, the mass chain second anyway, so I might as well just let it go. He scoops up that match. It's a pretty solid victory on my part. I'm forced to go second this time, so it's not, not looking too good because he can set up a very, very vicious first turn field with, um, with metal foes, and that, that was my biggest concern. I don't know if he's playing Gofu anymore, and I think a lot of builds are moving away from Gofu. Gofu. I think it's a good idea. I think the deck can run perfectly fine without the uh, the cheesy Zulkin build. Um, and kind of on a side note, um, if you guys remember uh, any of my Mermail videos in the past where I made Zulkin in the deck uh, with a very viable Zulkin combo, um, I'm probably going to bring that back. I'm probably going to make a new Mermail deck profile probably one last time. Uh, for a little bit, you know, once DDD finally rolls out with the new structure decks, I'm probably going to make one more Mermel deck profile with the uh, the Zulkin uh, combo in it um, in the extra deck because I actually have a fucking Crystal Wing now, which I still can't believe uh, that I finally own one and I didn't have to pay 50 bucks for it. So that's really, really cool. Um, <laughs> it's just good having uh, good extra deck cards at my disposal. Um, although I'm still missing a few, I would say. Maybe... Um, uh, and maybe not extra deck cards, more main deck cards. It's like the desires and the D barriers and the strikes that I need now, um, which could be future challenge videos. Um, maybe they'll go in my favor. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'll just get them someday um, up front when I do come into some excess uh, currency. You know, I don't want to just blow everything I got on cardboard. Not a very wise financial decision. Look at that pendulum summon. Can we all just take a moment to look at that beefy ass pendulum summon? Did we set back row? A Kieran could have went into an Ignister if he wanted to. Obviously, not really necessary going turn one. There's my Kepler that's going to go through. Uh, my hand is decent. I'm not going to lie, my hand's decent. Uh, I can make some plays, but the Kieran, of course, is going to shut it all down. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do to the Kieran. Um, and uh, one thing also about my build right now, um, it's very not meta ready. Uh, and when I say that, it doesn't have Twin Twisters in it, it doesn't have Kaijus in it, there's no Raigeki in it, not that it's necessarily a must-main meta card. Uh, it's just more combo-oriented, kind of all-or-nothing build, which I kind of do want to change. Once the... I know I fucking sound like a broken record player, but once the new support is here, um, and I might even come out with one last new DDD pre-structured deck, deck profile as well, um, with actually, you know, good cards in it, like Twin Twister... 
um, and maybe some kaijus because I think kaijus would be good in there uh, as a level eight target. They are trade in targets, especially Gamma Seal, um, and uh, it's it's definitely it definitely could use a lot more improvement. Um, he's gonna go into full metal Force fusion for the Alkahest. And I'm debating on what I want to fusion now because I know what I fusion into. He's going to steal, so I go into jokingly fusion for the Pilgrim, jokingly fusion for the Dark Law. Um, I'm like, I'll go for Genghis because at this point, um, if he steals Genghis, it has lower attack. So I was like, you know what, we'll just do that. And uh, hopefully that'll work out well. Um, and he doesn't steal it, so I'm kind of like, well, shit. Uh, it's just a matter of time at this point uh, when he's going to take something. Um, right now, if Hexblood was a thing, I could Synchro into him, and that would be a good bait out uh, for the the Alcast because as I slide a Trish into my extra deck, because I should, honest to God, be playing a Trish in my extra deck, so I just threw it in there um, for shits and giggles, just maybe it'll come up, because I can definitely do the Trish play at this moment. I just got to summon this uh, necro slime out of my graveyard basically chain link two uh with ragnarok and chain link one with Genghis. because i don't know if uh there's like some sort of restriction on this play when like ragnarok hits the field with a Genghis on board um i don't know if there's some restriction where like you can only use one of the effects since they're happening simultaneously or maybe one will miss timing i'm not sure um if i did it wrong i apologize but i don't think i did um He's able to uh, return something with a Kieran and steal the Ragnarok anyways, so my play is basically fucked at this point. Uh, really wishing I had a Tatsunoko in the extra deck. Tatsunoko would be very, very cool to have right now. Uh, I think I might play a Tatsunoko in the uh, in the new extra deck because um, you know Formula and a level one on board is on, a level one on board isn't too uncommon. Um, I put a Thomas in the scale, Thomas pops, Thomas, Thomas summons Ragnarok. I've got another rank 8 play. I can go into Kali Yuga again to clear up a lot of back row. Uh, I think that's what I end up doing um, because there's a lot of back row on his side of the field. Get rid of his scales, his combination. Although he will get to uh, use his combination effect, which I think is to add one. Could be wrong, though. Um, you will get to do something, though, when combination is destroyed. So, yeah, I go into Kaliuga, knowingly, uh, standby phase, I'm quick to go for the, uh, the Kaliuga play to blow everything up, get it all off the field, get rid of his, the Ragnarok. Um, yeah, and, uh, what, the reason the Alka has there is because I totally forgot fucking battle phase, so he was kind enough to, like, yeah, you probably would have, uh, attacked the Alka Hest. Um, it's like either the Alkahest or the Kieran, it's a tough choice. Um, I figured getting rid of the Alkahest would have been the best target to attack, um, because he either steals something or he bounces something. Bouncing something isn't that big of a threat. I don't want to lose anything, uh, to his side of the field. Uh, at least if it's in my hand, I have access to use it perhaps for a fusion. Activating Volflame in the Pendulum Scale, getting a, uh, Bambuku popped to the extra deck setting, I think maybe a counter that might have been. Didn't really catch it, um, but it's obviously a Metal Foe spell or trap card. Synchroing into Ignister, and this is where everything goes uh, downhill. Um, not not looking good. Not looking good at all. Here I could have uh, quick synchroed into a Tatsunoko if I wanted to, unaffected by monster effects. One of the uh, things I really don't ever remember about Tatsunoko is that he has the ability to be unaffected by monster effects, which a lot of people probably forget about that. I, you know, everybody's so caught up in the, yeah, you can use a synchro material from hand, but as I get overwhelmed there at the very end, uh, I scoop them up. Again, my play style could have been probably tens times better, hundred times better, and I know somebody in the comments is going to reinforce that, so thank you in advance. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm looking forward to new structure deck. I hope you guys are too. Got a lot of plans for new videos in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash that motherfucking like button. Um, now that we're at the end of the video. So if you did find that you enjoyed the video in some way, shape, or form, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Sorry about the uh, the generic YouTuber outro. But anyways, leave a comment if you got one, guys. And as always, Winter Kills signing the fuck out. We'll see you in the next one.